What changed with this team? You guys were three and five. Defense was bad. Offense was okay. But all of a sudden now the defense is kind of carrying you guys. Yeah. Um, I can't really pinpoint what exactly happened. But like you said, our defense has just been unbelievable this past month. Um, you know, I think they're first in the league in takeaways the last five games. And, you know, that's just putting our offense in great situations. So we're playing complimentary football right now, which is huge for us. You know, offense, we're not really scoring as many points as we would like to, but we're not turning the ball over, and that's how you win games in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, it, it sounds kind of counterintuitive, right, that the offense, you'd think Jameis Winston, you guys, high-powered offense, a lot of talent out wide, you down the middle, that, uh, that you guys – but it's it's the lack of turnover. So is the, is the play calling more conservative? Is Jameis more conservative? What's caused the cut down, cutting down of the turnovers? Um, you know, I wouldn't say we're more conservative at all. It's just you know we've we've missed some uh, some opportunities down the field the past couple of weeks. You know, we've uh, we, we've had some chances and uh, kind of shot ourselves in the foot with uh, some some penalties and some pressure on the quarterback. So. Uh, you know, we're still calling the same the same shots down the field, but, you know, James is making better decisions. He's checking the ball down more often, which is huge for us. He's He's got his stuff to. It feels like he's really got his stuff together. For somebody who hasn't experienced the Jameis Winston experience like you have, right? Like, you didn't grow up in the South. Like, you don't know how that thing works. But to, to come into that locker room, how does he run it? How is he a guy who everyone swears by? Uh, you know, he just loves the game so much. Uh, you know, he loves football more than any person I've ever met in my life, and it's contagious. Uh, he's definitely a goofy dude, but uh, that's something that I appreciate. And, uh, you know, the guys follow him. He's our leader. You're going to Dallas. It's not just going to play in Dallas. This game was flexed out. Like, the NBC was like, no, 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 we want Tampa on our air. Granted, helps that it's the Cowboys. Um, that's kind of a respect thing. Like, has it? Is there a different kind of... I don't know, hitching the giddy up, a different step, knowing that the league uh, and NBC, and that means fans are paying attention? Uh, you know, we're just approaching it like any other game, but, you know, it's kind of hard hard to, you know, look over the fact that it's a Sunday night game. Uh, that's an opportunity that we haven't had down here in Tampa Bay for a while. So, you know, we, we understand the magnitude of this game, uh, you know, not only playing on Sunday night, but, you know, a win would be huge for us in trying to get into the playoffs this year. Um, so we're approaching this one like a playoff game, truly. Yeah, and so, like, Sunday, you're going to sit around and watch games? Like, this is a this is a new experience, right? You guys are usually the early game, let alone not, not the late night game. So do you have your Sunday planned out for what you're going to do at the hotel? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a football junkie, so I'll, I'll watch the early games, but it's definitely going to be weird. Uh, you know, I've been here for three years now, and this is our first time playing Sunday night. We had our first Monday night game uh, earlier this year, which we were able to win in Carolina. Uh, so we, we've played that, you know, primetime night game before this year. But, uh, you know, Sunday night, there's nothing like it. Uh, craziest questions one of your teammates has asked you since they found out you went, you went to Harvard? Uh, you know, we had a couple guys who are no longer on the team, but they asked me about investing in oil. Um, something that was a little bit above my pay grade. So I, uh, I told them to talk to their financial advisors about that one. That's, it's funny, though, because people it automatically, and, I mean, obviously, there's not, and you went to Harvard, there's, there's some kind of life idiots that are, that are book smart. I, I, I understand that. But not everyone who went to Harvard is, like, genius, right? Like, not everyone you went to school with is the smartest, is the sharpest knife in the drawer, correct? No, yeah. My roommates from college, they're the perfect example of, uh, you know, not the smartest guys in the world. Um, <laughs> we kind of skated by together. You know, we were able to graduate, you know, see to get degrees, as they say. Um, so, uh, yeah, not every person you meet from Harvard is a genius, but there's definitely some smart people you'll meet out there. Do, did, did more When you were on campus, did more people know the crew team than knew the football team? We were definitely bottom of the totem pole. Uh, you know, no respect at parties, anything like that. I would say, yeah, our crew team was pretty solid. You know, crew was big. Basketball, you know, basketball. Basketball was good when you were there. Yeah, I, I was there. They they won. The, they, that's when they won the first NCAA tournament game, right? That's right. Yeah, we went three or four years in a row. But um, yeah, we won our first tournament game my sophomore and junior year. So it was it was exciting watching them. And then of course you got hockey. Is like you're way behind hockey. Like don't even you oh, know there's the, the bean pot. That's huge. Yeah, we're they're a whole whole nother echelon than we are um have you gotten into the sweet tea or the grits like s southern food different uh than than what you were brought up around uh what's are do you indulge in the in the, in uh the finer things of southern dining 
Yeah, uh, you know, I tried grits for the first time. I didn't know grits were a thing. Grits and okra. Um, those two things, I didn't know they existed before I got down here. Um, but I'm more of a clam chowder guy. No, I know you are. I'm just, I'm, uh, so, okay, so uh, where did you have grits and okra? Like, did you have, like, a restaurant? Did you go to, like, did you go to somebody's house? Like, where where did you, ha where, uh, I mean, tell me where you had this stuff. Uh, so, you know, the uh, chef here at One Buck just at the facility, does a great job preparing southern food. Yeah. And uh, so I tried it out here. Uh, wasn't the biggest of fan, I would say, but it's all right. 